All right, so while we have a little time before we're going to hop on to uh, the Zoom call and, and everyone's going to join, uh, let me tell you a little bit about how the system is set up. So here at the A to Z uh, studio, tech world, whatever you want to call it, um, we have the brains of the operation happening in this rack right here. Um, so let's go from bottom to top, might make more sense. Uh, power strip, easy, fans for cooling, the 8K the brains of the operation. This thing does everything, okay? Uh, without this guy, we could not set up the studio as we have it. More cooling, then we have HyperDex for recording. These can do two things. They can record, which is what they're doing now with SD cards, right? And I can simply pop out an SD card, and now this is the file. Um, it has dual slots, so I could record seamlessly from one to another and then hop swap the cards later, okay? Right here is our master power strip. Uh, it is a Furman power conditioner um, with the on button that turns the entire studio on and off. And it's pretty firm. Like I can't turn it off um, without really pressing it. It's located directly under a shelf that we use for whether that's an iPad, papers, whatever. So the button is harder to accidentally hit. Okay, more HyperDex for recording. Up here we have a smart Video Hub clean switch. The fact that it is a clean switch does not matter. We happen to just already have that. This is running all of the uh, TVs and such in the tech world. So um, from here, I can go ahead and I could put a multi view anywhere I want to. I can send a signal, a reroute signals, this and that, without having to use the 8K to do that. Um, really, that comes in handy for multi views. Other than that, the 8K can pretty much do anything at once. That's the one downside is the, the AK can only output multi views out of four SDI outputs, but I run them directly into here. And then from here, I can send that multi view wherever I want to. So that's really good. Lastly, we have our smart scopes. Um, and these guys are really good for adjusting color. They're color accurate. Uh, they're 4K. Moving on to the front of control center here. So not only do we have our giant multi view with actually four different multi views happening on screen, um, but we also have our advanced panel, and this thing lets me switch exactly uh, into what's the live program. I could switch to what's happening up on the video wall here. Um, so really, I, I can control absolutely everything on this multi-view uh, from this little control panel. Over here, we have a playback laptop. Currently, it is also plugged in as a backup unit for the 8K. So whatever I do over here will also happen over there. So they're basically linked. Um, but usually I run ProPresenter on this laptop. Let's go along the bottom. Host Zoom computer, live streaming computer, and this can be used both ways. I can use them both for Zoom. I could use them both for live streaming. Just depends on our use cases. It's very flexible. Uh, this is a graphics computer. So lower thirds. Uh, tickers, timers, any kind of overlays that I need, I can run from this computer here. This computer over here is just for PowerPoint. So PowerPoint presentations, um, we can plug in a clicker to it, whatever we need. Then on the top row here is all for Zoom. Um, so Zoom computer four, three, two, and one. Uh, it's labeled this way because if I have a second person, they're gonna be over here on Zoom one and two, uh, and they might not even need three and four. Um, so that's why it's labeled that way. And finally, I have control over what's happening on these screens up here. I can show, uh, you know, a preview in a program. I could show any of the Zoom laptops. Um, so this controller is really just for those two monitors, A and B. And that's a quick tour of the tech world here. The main brains, audio, control, Zoom laptops, live streaming laptops and, and everything like that. And what's great is we have the ability to not only control everything, like all the cameras and, and things happening in the studio, but we can add more. So if we do a conference or something where we need even more laptops for this and that, we have extra inputs on the switcher, we already have cables run, and we can simply add to either, you know, whatever table space outside there. So we have room to grow and that's super awesome. Um, so yeah. That's a tour of the studio, and uh, that's how to turn on a Zoom call.